So here is a fun little math challenge if you want to test your basic math skills and you don't even need a calculator to solve it. All right, so what we're trying to do here is find the missing digits of these numbers right here. So we have two three digit numbers and we're adding them together and the correct answer here is 782. But our first number, we don't know the first digit and our second number, we don't know the middle digit. So the question here is find the value of these digits. All right, now if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you exactly how to solve this problem in just one second. But let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help in mathematics, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out or if you enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time we have blank four seven plus three blank five is equal to 782. What is the value of the missing digits? So there's different ways to think about this problem, but I think the easiest way to approach the solution is the following. Okay, so our original problem is question mark four seven plus three question mark five is equal to 782. So these question marks represent the missing digits that we're trying to figure out. So what we can do here is write the question in a different way. So we have this number plus this number and we know the answer is 782. So we can write it this way. All right, so we have question mark four, seven plus three question mark five and we know the answer is 782. All right, so we're gonna to have to go back and do some review of basic mathematics, basic addition. So how do we uh, add numbers, three digit numbers specifically? Well, let's go ahead and do a quick review. Now, there's a couple examples that I wanna show you here, but our first example is 346 plus 231. Okay, so here is the correct answer, it's 577. So when you're adding three digit numbers, what you're going to do is add down in a column manner. And we're gonna start with this column way over to the right. So six plus one is what? Well, the answer is seven, so we'll put that right there. Then we're gonna to go to this next column, four plus three is what? Well, that's seven, so we'll put our answer right here. So in other words, we're putting the answer right underneath these columns, and then we're gonna to go to our last column, which is this one. So we have three plus two is five, so our final answer here is 577, which of course is the sum of these two three digit numbers. Okay, so that is one simple example, but we can have another thing going on when we are adding two or three digit numbers or more. So let's take a look at this example. We have 346 plus 127. The correct answer here is 473, just in case you wanna pause the video and make sure you know how to add three digit numbers. So we're gonna use the same procedure. When we do this, something else is going to happen. So here we're going to take six and add it to seven. So six plus seven is 13. Now what we're gonna do is not write the entire answer right here. Okay, so six plus seven is 13. So when you have a number that is greater than nine, okay, i.e. a two digit number, if you're adding single digit numbers and you get something 10, 11, 12, 13, etc. Well, what we're gonna do is only write the last digit, okay? In this case, it's going to be the ones value, the three, okay? So instead of 13, we're going to write three, all right? So we're still thinking in our brain 13, but we're gonna write the three right here and then we're gonna carry the one right here. We're gonna put that one in this second column. Now I'm doing like real informal instruction on how to add numbers. So hopefully this is uh, a review. Okay, so for those of you out there that teach elementary math, you might be looking at uh, my explanation here, but like, hey, you know, I, can't, I don't really understand <laughs> what you're saying. No student can understand this. Again, uh, this little explanation is designed to be a quick review because most of you out there should already know how to add three digit numbers. Okay, so let's continue on. So six plus seven again is 13. So we have a number here that is a two digit number. We're gonna carry 
this one over here. Now we're going to add down in a column manner. So 1 plus 4 plus 2 is what? Well, 2 and 4 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So we're doing the same thing here. Now this time we didn't get a two-digit number. So we'll leave that alone and then we'll move on to our last column. So 3 plus 1 is 4. So our answer is 473. So when you're adding two three-digit numbers or more, you may have to carry a value to the next column. So that's really what I want you to keep in mind because if you understand this, well, then we can solve the problem. All right, so now we need to kind of figure out what these missing digits are. So here again is our problem. We have this three-digit number, so we don't know the first digit. It's question mark four seven plus three question mark five. But let's just go through the same procedure here because we do know the answer, and that is 782. Okay, so we're going to take these first digits right here, 7 and 5, and add them together, right? So we do have these values. So 7 plus 5 is what? Well, the answer is 12. Okay, so you can see here that we are putting the 2 in the right place, but what we need to do here is carry the 1 to the next column. Okay, so we now we have 1 plus 4 plus something, and the answer is 8, right? So we have 1 plus 4 plus something, and the answer is 8. Now, you could use some algebra here to figure this out, but we know that our answer here, our digit, has to be an integer value, a nice whole number value. So it can't be some sort of fraction. So 1 plus 4 is what? Well, that's 5. So 5 plus 1 is equal to 8. Well, hopefully you can see the answer here is going to be 3. Okay, so this digit right here must be 3. Now, if you figure that out, that is fantastic. So that means our bottom number down here is going to be 335. All right, so let's move on to this last digit. So we have this uh, mystery number plus 3 is 7. So something plus 3 is equal to 7. What must this number be? Well, the correct answer must be 4 because 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. All right, so our numbers here are going to be 447 and 335. And of course, we can uh, check this. So here is our original problem. So if we have 447 plus 335, we could do the simple arithmetic. So we have 7 plus 5 is 12. So we have 2 carry 1 right here. So this is going to be what? 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So this is all checking out. And then 4 plus 3 is 7. So 447 plus 335 indeed is 782. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed this nice simple math problem. And again, this is all kind of um, assumed that you understand basic arithmetic. Now, most of you out there learned basic arithmetic, but you probably forgot a lot of stuff. And don't feel bad because we pretty much do math all day long with our calculators. So if you want to review basic mathematics, let me give you a quick uh, couple of suggestions. One, I have a ton of basic math problems on my YouTube channel. So hopefully you'll subscribe and check out those videos. I literally have thousands of math problems on my YouTube channel. But uh, if you want to kind of relearn math in a real formal, uh, structured way, check out these two courses right here. You can find links to them in the description of this video. My first is my Math Foundations course. This is a quick little kind of mini boot camp of basic mathematics. So I'm going to talk about fractions, how to add, subtract, multiply numbers, uh, how to divide numbers to include decimals, percent, all that kind of good stuff that you learn way back in elementary, primary school, and middle school. Now, if you want to learn basic math plus algebra and geometry as well, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You'll find links to both of these courses in the description along with other courses as well. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.